It used to be the case that having your work adapted into a Hollywood blockbuster meant that you'd truly made it in this world. However, people are now recognizing that some stories are just too expansive to be told in one two-hour movie and that a TV format is much more versatile. You can still retain the same production values, but over the course of ten or so episodes and several seasons, you can pack in more characters, more action, and most importantly, more plot. Long gone are the days when video games only got the Uber Bowl treatment, with series like The Witcher proving that stories contained within games, and yes, we know it's a book as well, translate nicely to the small screen. At the time of writing, we're also very much looking forward to HBO's imagining of The Last of Us and hope that it paves the way for more small screen video game adaptations. We've got so many suggestions, in fact, that we've been able to fill this entire list. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video games that would make great TV shows. Number 10. Metroid Series Sci-fi shows have been big for years, with the likes of Star Trek garnering huge fan bases, but there just aren't that many female-fronted ones, and we think it's about time that one of the first ladies of gaming made her leap into another medium. The Metroid series currently consists of over a dozen different games, meaning that there's more than enough lore for several series worth of stories based upon the exploits of Samus Aran. The plot focuses on Aaron, a bounty hunter as she works tirelessly to protect the galaxy from space pirates who wish to harness biological weapons in order to assert their dominance over those who would oppose them. This narrative lends itself perfectly to adaptation into a number of different genres. A sci-fi action romp that sees Samus blasting her way across space would definitely be fitting, but so too would something more in the sci-fi horror realm as you begin to introduce the parasitic Metroid organisms. Though there has been talk of a Metroid film adaptation, sadly nothing is ever come to fruition, but we remain hopeful that one of these days, our gal Samus will get her chance to shine whether on the big screen or the small one. Number 9. The Elder Scrolls Series If we've learned anything from the likes of Netflix's The Witcher, it's that people love a good bit of sword and sorcery, and what video game franchise better fits that description than Bethesda's Elder Scrolls series? It's got magic, action, and best of all, plenty of heroic good guys and nasty baddies. Ever since it first graced our systems all the way back in 1994, The Elder Scrolls has prided itself on weaving rich, intricate narratives, creating extensive lore and absorbing players in the expansive continent of Tamriel. Not only is there plenty to go at in terms of narrative, heck, you could get several seasons worth of stories out of each of the series' five main titles, but there's also an incredibly diverse cast of characters. From the long-lived elves and the Red Guard of the Lost Continent, Yakuda, to the agile Khajiit and the Argonians of Black Marsh, there are a plethora of different heroes and villains for the audience to get behind. Whether it's tales of supernatural evil and mysterious forces, epic political struggles between Tamriel's most powerful factions, or human stories capturing the essence of this magical medieval land, there's sure to be something here for everyone. Number 8. Horizon Zero Dawn at least in our writer's opinion, there just aren't enough epic TV series featuring a badass female lead, and what's more, even where shows do give us a strong lady protagonist, there just aren't any giant robots. I don't feel like we're asking for much here, but the telly world has yet to bow to my wishes. I'm not too bitter, however, as there's a simple way that my anger can be remedied, and that's by someone, please, producing a Horizon Zero Dawn series. The game follows protagonist Aloy as she embarks on a legendary quest to uncover the mysteries of a world no longer dominant dominated by mankind, but that is instead ruled by deadly machines. Outcast by her tribe and forced to make her own way, she must fight to uncover her past, forge her destiny, and prevent a catastrophic disaster from befalling what remains of the human race. Think about it. Horizon Zero Dawn already has the makings of a smash hit that would have people tuning in every week, even if they haven't played the game. Interesting female hero with an intriguing backstory? Check. Big scary robot beasts that freely roam the land? Check. Exciting narrative full of mystery, action, and suspense? Triple check. Get it made, please. Number 7. Overwatch Admittedly, their foray into the world of cinema was not the most successful for Blizzard. Boo, Blizzard! With 2016's Warcraft, based on the video game series of the same name, receiving less than stellar reviews. 
But just because Warcraft wasn't very good, it doesn't mean that every adaptation has to be bad. Overwatch itself is already rich in lore, so it would be wonderful to bring all of that to television screens. At its core, the game focuses on the tensions between humans and the artificially intelligent robots they created known as Omnix. With a huge roster of diverse characters, each with their own unique backstories, there are a plethora of different tales to tell. Each Overwatch series could explore a different aspect of the group's background, from their foundation to their battles against the Omnix and the tensions that arose between its leaders Jack Morrison and Gabriel Reyes. Alternatively, such a series could be set following the passing of the Petrus Act, which forced the organization to disband and forbade its members from undertaking any Overwatch-like activity. Honestly, I'd give just about anything to see Winston working the checkouts at Tesco because he's not allowed to Overwatch anymore. Number 6. Wolfenstein Series in recent years, dystopian television shows have dominated the ratings, and series like A Handmaid's Tale and Black Mirror have consistently drawn in huge audiences and won awards left, right, and center. Many of these shows focus on a dystopian future in which mankind has taken a political wrong turn or technology has made idiots of us all. What we haven't really seen much of in the mainstream, however, is a dystopian present, which is where the Wolfenstein series comes in to weave a tale of how the world might look if World War II had gone the other way. The franchise currently consists of over a dozen different games, each of which are set in an alternate timeline in which the Axis nations won the war. Naturally, such a setting lends itself to a number of different stories, from covert military operations to civilian rebel plots, but we're mostly keen to see protagonist BJ Blazkowicz make his screen debut, fighting Nazis and taking names. Oh, and not to mention that several of the games incorporate supernatural and occult themes, meaning that not only does our hunky lad have Hitler and his mates to contend with, but also various monsties and ghouls. Number 5. Celeste we would never be so bold as to assume that any of our ideas are worthy of big awards. However, having planned out an entire Celeste series in my head, I feel confident there's an Emmy with my name on it. The game itself weaves the story of Madeline, a young woman who sets out to climb Mount Celeste, all the while battling her own inner demons. Prior to her ascent, she's warned not to make the climb, and throughout the game is offered the opportunity to go back to the base of the mountain, but she perseveres and ultimately triumphs. Celeste is not just about a woman climbing a mountain, but is rather an allegory for the struggles of someone living with mental health issues. Along her journey, Madeline meets physical manifestations of her inner turmoil and is forced to confront the dark side of her psyche, even though she had rather not. The premise lends itself nicely to a dramatic series that focuses the vast majority of its attention on its female lead and exploring the events that led her to where she is. Naturally, there are supporting characters, but the main focus of the plot is Madeline and her quest to overcome the internal monsters that would hold her back. So with a strong leading lady in the role, and a team of good writers, certainly not whoever wrote the last season of Game of Thrones, we think that a Celeste series would be something truly special. Number 4. Dishonored. Here's a fun fact about people, they just love a good murder. I know, it's weird, but it's true. Just look at how many people watch Poirot. They also love stories of downtrodden folks overcoming the odds to come out on top. So with all of that in mind, we just need a way to combine the two and we're on to a winner. Well, Good news, everyone, because Arcane Studios' 2012 stealth gem Dishonored does exactly that. Set in the city of Dunwall, a fictional city overrun by the plague, the game tells the story of Corvo Atano, bodyguard to the Empress of the Isles, who is framed for her murder. Set to be executed, Corvo escapes and embarks on a quest for bloody vengeance by assassinating those behind his wrongful imprisonment. Not only does Dishonored combine an intriguing plot and a whole bunch of interesting characters, but it also invites audiences into an alternate history one in which corruption, magic, and sweet steampunk fashions are the order of the day. Naturally, a talented writer would need to take some artistic liberties, especially since a silent protagonist probably wouldn't translate well to folks' TV screens, and Dishonored comes with multiple endings, but if they could capture the spirit of the game successfully, audiences would go mad for it. Number 3. God of War the success in recent years of the likes of the Thor movies and TV show American Gods proves that there is most definitely a market for people who like mythology, though no offence to the blonde bombshell himself, Marvel's offerings are a bit on the family-friendly side of things. We prefer our gods to pack a bit more of a punch, so who better to front an epic telly saga than our boy Kratos? If you haven't played 2018's God of War, the plot revolves around Kratos and his son, Atreus, who must journey through the Nine Realms in order to scale the highest peak and scatter Kratos' wife's ashes. Along their way, they meet a load of other gods, some friendly, others not so much, and far from simply being a tale of two strapping lads on a long walk to find a mountain, Terrell God of War 
Kratos must face up to his past, which admittedly includes an awful lot of god murdering, and choose whether or not to reveal his true nature to Atreus. It's kind of like Lord of the Rings, but with far more viscera and boys. Boy. Oh boy. Stop us if we're getting ahead of ourselves, but we already foresee long-running series that explores not only the violent side of Kratos, but his inner turmoil as he battles with his past self. Oh, and it stars Terry Crews. You know, obviously. Number 2. Red Dead Redemption Series The humble western has been a mainstay of cinema for decades, and what better way to update the genre for a more modern audience than by bringing the gunslinging fun of the wild wild west to the small screen. The first Red Dead Redemption follows John Marston as he's forced to turn bounty hunter and round up his old comrades in order to secure the safety of his family. There's action, suspense, and more portrayal than that time someone stole my BLT from the Triple Jump fridge. It's like the movie Taken, only episodic and with more horses. I'm talking about Red Dead, not my sandwich. Naturally, such an epic tale will need a second season, but there's no need to panic just yet because Red Dead Redemption 2 already has us covered. Linear narratives are completely passé, however, so we demand a prequel series that delves into the exploits of Arthur Morgan as he tries to make an honest life for himself after years of crime. Definitely not one for the kiddos, as we can foresee a whole ton of violent swearing and maybe the odd sexy bit, but with the right team at the helm, we're pretty certain that the Red Dead series could make the leap to the small screen with a great deal of success. Number 1. Bioshock If there's a game that's just screaming out for a noir adaptation full of mystery, suspense, and characters of dubious moral alignment, it's 2007's Bioshock. Set in the underwater city of Rapture, Bioshock tells of the rise and fall of the city, from its creator's vision for a utopia free from the constraints of traditional governments to its turbulent decline following the discovery of Adam. No, not that one. The story of Bioshock itself might not make for the best non-interactive experience if translated directly. After all, who wants to watch a series where a guy just gets told what to do by a friendly-sounding Irish bloke for its entire runtime? With that said, however, the world in which Bioshock is set, and all the stories contained within, would make for a masterpiece the likes of which Teleland has never seen before. Perhaps an epic tale recounting the meteoric rise of Andrew Ryan as he strives to bring to life his vision for a utopian paradise only for it to crumble before him as its inhabitants become addicted to Adam. Or tell the tragic story of the Splicers, who once made up the human population of Rapture. The possibilities are endless and we really aren't sure why a Bioshock TV show isn't in production right now. Do it. Do it now. Make it now. Do it. You better do. You doing it? 